and welcome to Steph Time. My name is Stephanie and today I have a very exciting announcement for you. This is the Steph Time Side Tie Top. This is a reversible, high-necked, cropped top with side ties as you can see here, its namesake. This top has two views. View A is made with lightweight woven fabrics. All of the seams are nicely enclosed due to the use of the burrito method and is definitely your go-to breezy tank top to wear in the summer. View B is made with medium weight to heavyweight fabrics or quilted fabric, and all of the seams are nicely bound with bias tape. Here are some examples of view A. Remember, each top is reversible. I made this one from some fabric and also upcycling a shirt I thrifted. This is the sample I made to show you guys how to sew up view A. And this is made from vintage woven lightweight fabric. This is one of my favorite view versions of View A. I have a video all about how I made the heart cutout, but this is actually made from a very low stretch, medium weight knit fabric. And instead of doing the side ties, I use little ribbons here. And yeah, I think this one's so cute. I wore it to the Barbie premiere. This top that you're looking at now is View B, and this was made from a thrifted quilt. It's actually the same quilt I did my quilted coat with, so I had some extra and it was the perfect amount to make this top. I love this one. It's so comfortable to wear. And since this was a pre-quilted fabric, because it was a quilt, it is technically reversible, but I don't wear it reversed a lot because this is the side with the visual interest. This is the top that made me fall in love with this pattern. And on this one, I quilted my own fabric using scraps from previous projects that I had been collecting over the past few years. So if you want to see more about that, I have posted more about this on my Instagram, even sharing with you all of the little, what each little square was from on each project. And this one is reversible and on the other side, I, I use like a more subtle flannel fabric. So we kind of have both moods in one top. So let me tell you a little bit about the top, how we got here, my inspiration, and a little bit about the process of making the pattern. I've always loved a high neckline. I love having breezy tops in the summer. I live in Georgia in the United States and it is really freaking hot all summer. So I just need to have a top that has some, you know, cross breeze as well as having a top that I don't have to wear a bra with. So this one kind of met all of the marks for me. I believe that this was the first version I made of this top. I made this one with low stretch knit fabric as well. And I do love this one. The first time I made it, I did not use a bust art, which I feel like when you're using knit fabric, sometimes you don't need. And this was kind of the catalyst. Once I made this and I realized how much I reached for it in my closet, I just knew that I had to make it a pattern for you guys. And I couldn't stop at just one view or one version of this top. So I had to make the two. The drafting process went back and forth quite a bit. I really wanted to make sure that the fit was good on this pattern. For all of my patterns, I hire a professional pattern grader. And what this means is I hire a professional to take my sample size and grade it out for my entire size range. Then I take this into a testing pool of people. I had about 60 people for this testing round. And the reason I had so many was because I had two views and a large size range. So I tested it for everyone. I really t took into consideration all of their notes, comments, concerns. And after about a month of implementing those edits with my pattern grader, I released it back in May. It has been a really, really fun process seeing all of your creations. And if you're just now hearing about it, please check it out in the link down below. And I hope that you guys enjoy. It's a top that's brought me a lot of joy and it's a top that I reach for all the time in my closet. So whether you're wearing it on its own or layering for all of the seasons, I feel like this top is really fun. I hope that you guys like this one. And if you're looking to sew along with me, you can see this sew along for view A right here. And you can see the sew along for view B right here. All right guys, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.